Hi everybody, Nicole from Mom Trends here. I am here with my friend Liza, and Liza Huber is the founder of Sage Spoonfuls. Um, we did a video a few weeks ago about baby food, and today what are we gonna be doing? Today we are going to make a delicious treat for toddlers, big kids, adults. I mean, the summer is here, it's so hot. We are going to make homemade popsicles. We're gonna make a watermelon strawberry popsicle. It is so easy and so much better than the stuff you can buy at the store that's full of sugar, full of artificial preservatives and flavors and expensive and not necessary. This is so easy and so, so tasty and healthy. Liza, you have made your whole business about showing moms that it's easy to give their kids fresh prepared right. food. Um, the big difference is preservatives. The whole, the whole processing, the whole processing that um, food has to go through to be ready to go on the shelf, you know, to have that shelf life. That's what destroys the taste, the texture, the flavor, the nutrients. They have to add so much stuff back in and so much sugar, and it's just not necessary. We're gonna make the most delicious tasting popsicle for pennies with fresh organic watermelon and strawberries, and it's just literally so quick and so delicious. It's great for toddlers, big kids, adults. They're so bright and flavorful and really the best choice for a summer snack. Here I have a cup and a half of cubed watermelon and a cup and a half of strawberries, you know, but it doesn't have to be about measuring. Just throw in a little of this, throw in a little bit of that. Now, wooden popsicle sticks that you can get at any craft store, the key to getting the stick to stay in the jar is a little slice of banana. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. This is the key. So we're gonna put the banana in the bottom of the jar. I'm gonna stick the stick in here. And there we go. Genius. Genius. So we're gonna take our watermelon, we're gonna dump it in, we're gonna dump in our strawberries. And then this is one of your favorite tools for the kitchen. So this is a two-part tool. You can either use it as this blending system and then you've right. also shown you can take to detach the top if you're making bigger batches. Exactly, this is our Sage Baby Puree and Blend. Um, we offer a food processor, but also an immersion blender as well. This is the food processor, and then you can always take the, the uh, hand motor off and put it on the immersion blending rod. But this here, we're just gonna click it on, and literally with a few pulses, we're all blended up. Gorgeous. And then you're just gonna pour it into your jar about three quarters of the way full. You're gonna stick them into your freezer for four hours to overnight and you're done. You know, when you want to have them, you take the jar, the frozen jar, out of the freezer, you just run it under some warm or hot water for okay. 10 seconds, it pops out of the mold, and you have a delicious, healthy treat. And I love the color. It's so vibrant, yeah. and it's really attractive for kids, and it also teaches them what food, the colors they actually choose. Right, and what like. food really tastes like. I mean, I wish you guys could smell this. It's just, it's amazing. It's a berry explosion. A berry explosion makes a great smoothie. Oh. And for bigger kids, I would also get them involved with putting the, um, the bananas on the sticks and maybe Absolutely. pouring some of this food in so they can see how it all works together. And now that I know how simple it is, I don't think I will ever buy popsicles again. They're full of so many art. Anything that can dye your tongue, you want to run away from. All those artificial colors, you know, when your child runs to you with like a blue tongue and blue lips, you just want to run far away. I mean, I'll make like, you know, a dozen of these at a time and they're the best for warm weather play dates. The kids flip out and they love them. Well, I love them too. And we have a lot more videos, recipes that are inspiring for moms who um, are maybe a little bit nervous about mixing up their own things. And we have a great baby recipe as well that we'll share in the link below.